Hello everyone. This is the first episode in the series and right now my plan is for this to just be a series of video essays about speedrunning, streaming, content creation, economics, politics, and any related topics that I just feel the need to talk about. I've wanted an opportunity to switch things up and try creating different kinds of content. Talk about whatever's on my mind, see if any topics draw any interest. Suppose you could call this my just chatting content, as opposed to my other YouTube channel, which is a video archive of my speedrun content. One of the biggest challenges with speedrunning for me, as a form of content creation, is that it's very hit or miss when it comes to channel growth. I love doing it, don't get me wrong. Well, when Aaron Gygus isn't throwing a fit with me, but it doesn't always lend itself to creating different forms of content. I've typically been using YouTube for my PB videos just as a repository to store them, but those do come and go. So sometimes I get a PB and sometimes I get another PB in a different game the next day or the next week, and sometimes it's a few months between new PBs. And to grow on YouTube, that's kind of not really what you want to be doing. Also, to be fair, the games I run are pretty niche. Turns out there's not a huge number of people that are going out there on YouTube searching Legend of Lagaya speedrun. I mean, I know that because if there were a lot of people, I'd probably be getting, getting a lot more views. And every once in a while when I'm streaming on Twitch, I get some comment that says, Oh my gosh, it's Legend of Lagaya. I can't believe anybody speedruns this game. It took me like 55 hours to beat this game as a kid. Oh my goodness, it's Star Ocean 2. I love that game growing up. I love getting comments like that. It's really, really amazing, but I also want to try different stuff. I don't want to just be that crazy speedrun lady. So my vlog that I'm starting today is just a way for me to branch out and try a new type of content creation, waxing poetic about various topics of interest to me and I hope interest to you as well. I haven't really decided exactly what I'm going to talk about. More than anything, I just want to blast my thoughts out into the infinite ether of the internet and they were the spaghetti sticks. Mixed metaphors aside, of course, I, I do have some ideas for topics I'd like to pontificate upon in future videos, and I want to use this to work on other content creation skills as well. I got this idea for this video from something I saw while watching some tutorial and advice videos on how to grow on Twitch and YouTube in 2021. I've been watching a lot of those lately. I see lots of content that's all about how to get to Twitch affiliate, how to find your niche, how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube or your first 10 subscribers on Twitch. And I don't see a whole lot about, oh, you kind of become a little bit established. You've grown a niche, but maybe you want to try something new or branch out, try different things once you're a little bit established. That's kind of was the inspiration for this along with some other things. But I will say, if you're here for actionable tips, how to grow your YouTube channel, I would recommend watching one of those videos, not this one. Don't take advice from some random streamer who gets like 10 to 15 views. I'm not the expert in, in growing your channel, and I, after six years, don't even have a thousand subscribers on YouTube. But I think that there is a niche for just a look on the ground from somebody who's in the muck looking to find her niche and expand it and working towards improving as opposed to just being purely a oh look i've i've grown i've become a twitch partner i am so successful now I, i've done all these things and here's my advice for you to get to where you are today maybe we'll look back on this in five years as this is wildly successful and that previous statement will just have totally aged like milk and we can all just laugh and say hey look the reason why Rhea sucks right now is just her content is just really bad her production quality is miserable her mic sounds like crap her content sucks it's unfocused nobody knows what she's talking about just some crazy lady in the internet and those things might well all be true <laughs> uh but that's also why i'm doing this series i want to try new techniques I want to talk about different things, practice my video editing, work on production quality, and just see where things go. As of the time that I was typing this, I just got a new microphone arm, which you can kind of see a little bit of it right there, uh, which I hope will make the videos sound better than previously. I, I 
from the little bit of testing I did. It sounds like it's a little bit better. And I think there's still a lot to be done to improve the quality in other ways as well, and I'll be continuing to work on that. I also want to talk about kind of the more psychological and emotional aspects, as opposed to just actionable tips, do these five things, and you will see growth in your YouTube content creation career. I haven't really seen these. Maybe, maybe that's just the information's not out there. There's not really that kind of content. And maybe it's just that YouTube's almighty algorithm hasn't recommended it to me. So there was something I recalled in a video I was watching here on YouTube a few days ago. The line that really stuck out at me. If you want to succeed, you have to be ready to fail. A lot. Failure's always been difficult for me to handle emotionally. I always did really well in school, academically, all the way through college and even even through grad school. I didn't have to work super hard. Academic success always just kind of came naturally to me. I'm not here to brag, but at the same time, I was always expected that I was going to be successful. Failure just wasn't an acceptable option. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's always good to you not settle for less than your best, but work hard, be successful isn't always the truth. Not not in recent years it seems that way. I know plenty of people. They they hardly work and yet they're super successful through sheer dumb luck. And I know plenty of people who work harder than you or I ever have in our lives and they just never catch a break. Just it always seems like one thing after another. There's a, a death in the family, a car that breaks down, some big personal injury, constantly getting beaten down by the cosmos in the most unfair ways. And that's kind of difficult for a lot of people to get this idea that there's this just world, that there's some inherent force of karma, that if you are good to the world, that you will be rewarded. And it's just not always the case. And one thing that I'm trying to let go of, and I'm not going to say I do the best job of it, is to distance myself from my ego, especially when it comes to content creation. I love telling people who I see on Reddit or whatnot, and they're always asking new streamers for advice, and I tell them, oh, you know, you don't deserve followers or subscribers or viewers or any other metric of success. I, I, know, I, I know intellectually that I don't, but in an emotional, egotistical sense, it's kind of hard to go through this and be like, I did all this work. I watched the videos. I did the tips. I created content that was relatable. I shared it to the right people. I worked on my entertainment value, played a game that wasn't oversaturated. I made sure that I had a mic and a webcam and that I'm talking during the stream. And I do all these things that they all say, oh, do this, do this, do this, do this, and still don't end up at the level of success that I was hoping for. So if Insanity is, as the cliche phrase goes, trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Maybe time to try a different thing. Maybe it'll lead to the same result. But it's always possible the different road leads to a different place. So today I'm taking my first step towards a new failure most likely, in the hopes that one day I'll learn enough to not fail next time, or the following time, or the following time. Eventually, or not. I guess I can't be afraid forever. <laughs> Until next time, stay hydrated, my friends.